All right, folks, here we are at the exterior of the house. We're looking at the two-car garage. Uh, the woman lives here alone. She has left her car there. We just part pulled in right behind her. Uh, you might remember if you've watched the interior part of this video, me referring to this place as a good storage for firewood. Wonderful fireplace in this house. I just want to highlight some of these outdoor spaces. Excuse me there. You can see it goes all the way down. You can walk right around the house into the pool. We are going to carry on this way. You can see the, the electric doors leading into the driveway and garage. The garage as well has a, an automatic control. Uh, highlighting some of the work here on the outside of the house. Uh, security really isn't an issue in this part of uh, the world. Uh, this woman lives alone. She's taken the, the precaution of barring the windows. Uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay on the footpath here. I just want to highlight uh, that there's, there's, there's a lot of other space there. Uh, that it's just green space, lawn. We've got three cork trees here. Start bottling your, your wines. Uh, there's the patio spaces, uh, looking up towards the balconies. Just a wonderful yard here. Great place to have a, a catch. Throw the football around. Kick the football around for some parts of uh, our audience. Uh, look at that, look at that oven. I mean, it's just, it's fantastic. The pool's large. Uh, wow, it's, uh, the possibility here is awesome. Uh, look at that. Wow, that is uh, actually one of the larger barbecues I've seen around these parts. They've got a stove top, water, they've even got a dishwasher out here. Wow, wow. Uh, shower. Mm, I personally wouldn't make a shower like that, but, uh, you know, it, it's got some privacy. Uh, it's an epoch piece. They've got some gating here up for the kids. Uh, let me just carry on, because what I'd like to do is get through this before, before I run out of video. Sorry, folks. Uh, so we've got some inside space here. Uh, let's see if this door is open. It is. You know, there's space enough here for, for a toilet. Uh, if there isn't one already, I haven't peeked my head in through this door yet. Uh, it's always a nice thing to have by the pool. Oh, of course, there is. There's actually a changing room, as you can see. You can install a sink. No, there actually is a sink there underneath that. And a toilet. Uh, it ticks a lot of the boxes. One of the boxes it doesn't tick, and I have to stress that, is the work that could be done to improve this property. Uh, but I see that as a, po as a positive. Uh, I think a lot of the people looking at this house will see that as a positive. We've got the pool equipment in here. I had a look at it earlier. Everything st seems to be in fine form. Mm, we're going to walk around this part. What the owners have done here is create a bit of a uh, terraced garden area. They do vegetable gardening there. At the moment, not much growing, uh, but a word that I've used throughout this video, there is uh, the potential to do so, or even to do something else with this space. It's flat. Uh, there could be uh, a few options. Let your minds wander. Okay, just highlighting here some of the, the space. You can see we're looking back up to the house now. They had gated this off, I presume, to keep animals away from eating the, the things in the garden. We have one, two, three olive trees that I count. I imagine there are various fruit trees. I believe I saw a lemon. Lots of foliage. Uh, even some palms. Uh, they could be planted. Let's have a look here. Back across to the pool house summer kitchen and across the pool itself. And from this vantage point, you can see a lot of the space here. Just beautiful garden areas. This belongs to the house at the end of the cul-de-sac. 
Okay. You can hear the cicadas. The birds are calling. The gardeners are busy landscaping. It's a very quiet area of Khan. It's a very green area of Khan. There's the house again. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. And I look forward to hearing back from you regarding what you think about this house.